Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out a plectrum. Um, I've not done a plectrum video in a while and plectrums are something that I really enjoy learning more about, finding new companies and I think they're really like I've said before a hundred times and people don't like it but I really think a nice plectrum could be the key to your playing, your tone, something that you're missing and the plectrum might be it. Today we are looking at Stone Age guitar picks. So stone plectrums, um, I've tried a lot of stone plectrums before and never liked any of them. I'll, I'm just gonna run you through kind of my experiences with stone plectrums before this one. A lot of stone plectrums are just vaguely in shapes of plectrums. It kind of feels like the guys who make them, I'm not gonna name any names, but the guys who make them just kind of get a stone that's kind of already flat and kind of roughly give it a pointed edge and it doesn't really work. Uh, they often sound a bit chirpy on the strings, they don't really work well playing on strings and they also make your hands filthy, they wear down super fast and your hands are black. If you play a gig, by the end of the gig your fingertips are completely black because it's worn off on your fingers. Now, my experience with this plectrum is completely different and I just dropped it and lost it forever. As you can see from this plectrum, it is in a perfect shape of kind of a pointed normal Dunlop plectrum. You know a lot of time has gone into the crafting of this plectrum and the beveling is just immaculate. It's a work of art. If you follow these guys on Instagram they every single plectrum looks like a work of art. Does it wear down? No. I've been playing this for the past couple of days I've done all these demos with this plectrum today and it's not worn down a sli the slightest it looks like it's made from a different kind of stone to other plectrums it almost looks kind of glass like really high quality craftsmanship in these pedals I believe this particular one is made from a gate stone if I'm pronouncing that right so kind of an awesome turquoisey green almost clear it's about two to three millimeters thick so perfect what I like I kind of like my picks around the two millimeter mark loads of options with this uh, company there's loads of different types of stones a few different shapes beveling options it doesn't make your fingers dirty which is cool I'm gonna sneeze I'm just gonna give you know a close-up of me playing a bit with this plectrum you may not hear tonal difference over YouTube but it's definitely quite a high end plectrum. There's a lot of high end coming through with the strings, I think, when you play with this plectrum, which is cool. That's, you know, high end is not bad. It's not a bad thing to have lots of high end. Um, people are often scared of it, but trust me, it's a good thing. So, Stone Age plectrums. Let's check it out. <clears throat> Thank you. 